Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I apologize, I'm a little bit late. And actually, I thought it is now 3.30 almost, but looked like I was busy working in something. Uh, I was trying to get the title of uh, Ustaz. Um, and I found that in order to go and get uh, the title of Ustaz for Indonesian people, I have to be uh, 17 years old, uh, who tried to grow his beard, and I all I need to do, I go to Saudi Arabia for three days vacation. And then after doing that, I would come back as Ustaz. Ustaz. Each time I see an Indonesian people saying to me, can you debate this Ustaz? I really freak out from laughing. Mr. Bean, he go to the beach. He find the, the, the Kaaba is flooded by the sewage. And he come back with a beard. And now the Indonesian people will call him Ustaz. Well, how he, well, he became Ustaz? He went uh, for three days. A brother of the A brother of the A lot of Ustaz teeth in Islam in Indonesia. And they are very, 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 very vulnerable. Uh, brother, but you don't speak Arabic. It doesn't matter. Because we are Ustad, you like it and you know it. I'm thirty and I know it. What's wrong with those people? So I was late because I was doing this graphic. Sorry for that. So, Ustaz, you people are Ustaz. You get me a kid, and then you call him Ustaz. Where is the Ustaz between those Ustaz? Who would, who of your Ustaz can answer us? Ustaz, what Ustaz mean? And by the way, in Arabic, we don't call anyone Ustaz. This is stupid. Ustaz is only a teacher in a school and have to be a teacher, have nothing to do with anything to do with Islam. Ustaz? This guy is Ustaz? I mean, seriously, this guy is Ustaz now. Ustaz Abdul. Even his name is Ustaz Abdul. And you tell me why I called him Abdul? Ustaz Abdul Samud, Sumad. Do you see it? Ustaz. Okay, what make you Ustaz? Who made you Ustaz? And why we don't see the Ustaz? Who is an Ustaz from Indonesia who can answer us? Ustaz. You cannot even answer Mr. Bean, uh, Ustaz. What's wrong with the? If we ask uh, the Ustaz uh, from Indonesia, just simple question. If Allah, he chose the location of the Kaaba, and I want every Indonesian listening to ask this question to the Ustaz. If Allah chose the location of the Kaaba, how come Allah he chose a very wrong place where the Kaaba always flooded by the sewage of Makkah? Ustaz. Imagine Allah is God. And then Allah. Hey, Bathfinder, how are you doing? Where have you been, man? Good to see you. Allah he chose a location for the Kaaba and it is flooded. Every year by the sewage. If we ask the same question to Zakir Naik, he will say to you, There's a person in the name of the Christian prince, and he always asks question, and the question is very stupid. As an example, he asks if the Kaaba located by Allah Himself, why it's always flooded by the sewage. First of all, there is many benefits of the sewage. Number one, you can use it as a fertilizer. Number two, it's going to kick all. A human who they are unwanted from around the Kaaba. The Kaaba need to breathe, brother. If all the people around it, the Kaaba can't breathe. So when we have the sewer the breathing there, the poor human need to go. And it is the clear answer. Thank you very much. And you get a point. Thank you, sister. What? Huh? Allah chose the Kaaba to be located there, to be in purpose, so the sewage will flood. 
and that will make the Kaaba breathe. And because of it is manure, it is a fertilizer. I mean, can't you come with better uh, answer? Where is the uh, Mohammedan? So all of them, they call themselves Ustaz. Look, this guy is Ustaz. This guy is Ustaz. You believe it? Ustaz, you, 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 you don't even, you don't, what Ustaz? What make you Ustaz? I don't think even you have a driver license. This guy is Ustaz too? I like your finger, brother. Ustaz. Now, I am not an Ustaz. So who of you dare to debate me? Hmm? You're very cute. You go, you go, you go, you go. You go to those Indonesian people who don't know anything about Islam and you fool them. You go to Saudi Arabia, you stay there for three months eating rice and meat and you come back and you say to them, I became Ustaz. And then, you know, you will find like a lot of people waiting for them in the airport. Ustaz coming from Saudi Arabia. Ustaz is coming from Saudi Arabia. And they, you know, receive him with the flowers as if he was doing like a, he was a hero. He just went for vacation. He got some money in his pocket from the Saudi to spread terrorism in your country. And now he is Ustaz. What Ustaz? Hello? Look at this Ustaz. He just came from Saudi Arabia. His name Ustaz Tanakagu. Ustaz. I don't even think he knew how to pronounce the name of his prophet correctly. Who of you Ustaz can call me right now and say the name of your prophet correctly? Hmm? My Skype is open. The only Ustaz he knew how to say Muhammad's name correctly is this guy. Ustaz Mr. Bean. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Ustaz? Do we have any Ustaz in the bushes? I'm serious. If there is any Ustaz in the bushes, would like to call me right now and show everybody that the Ustaz of Indonesia can refute the one who is not Ustaz, but he is an Arab. Anyone? What is Muhammad real? What is Muhammad real na name you mean? Well, according to Islamic books, his real name is Qasim. But it doesn't matter really. His real no name Qasim, his real name is Potato Tomato. Still he is a liar. And here we prove it. Translate this video for you. How I can translate this video for you, my friend? This is the, uh, I speak only two languages. One, one of the language of... Uh, uh, let, uh, hold on, I speak, I forgot, I learned a new language, it's called Indonesian, uh, I know how to say Lapuk. I think what happened to those Indonesian who claim to be Ustaz, they learned like me, one, two Arabic in, uh, in uh, like I learned two Arabic in Indonesian and now I think I am an Ustaz in an Indonesian language. So an Indonesian Abdul, he go to Islam, uh, to Islamic city in, in Saudi Arabia, he stay there for two weeks, he learned how to say Assalamu Alaikum brother and sisters. Alhamdulillah, and he thinks now he's Ustaz. I learned how to say a book. I mean, what's wrong with that? Here we go. I am Ustaz uh, in uh, Indonesian. and going to teach Indonesian how to speak uh, Indonesian. I will grow a beard, go to Indonesia, call myself Ustaz, and the first day I say to them, when I arrived in the airport, I say a book. Yes, I a book. You are a book, and your father is a book, and your parents are a book, and you are a book. I don't, don't say that you are Lapuk. I go and find a girl to marry me as an example. I say to her right away, do you think I'm Lapuk or you are Lapuk? Or Muhammad is Lapuk? 
or the ustaz are lapuk. And then she will say, are you going to keep saying the same word, lapuk, lapuk? I say, this is what they say in this country, alhamdulillah. But nobody knows what he's saying, alhamdulillah, lapuk. What the heck? What is Lapuk? You don't know what is Lapuk? See, you are very short in knowledge. Ask the Ustaz. <laughs> he doesn't know what Lapuk means. Hello? Expired, expired in the Indonesian. I told you guys, you are ignorant. We are Ustaz. <laughs> Unbelievable. So who is an Ustaz would like to call us? Muhammad is Lapuk, Quran is Lapuk, Allah is Lapuk, your Ustaz is Lapuk, everything you have is Lapuk. And yet you claim you have religion. What religion you have? A religion of a God, he don't know how he created the baby. Like yesterday we have a guy from Indonesia. After he talking to me for half hour, he agreed that his God is an idiot. He is Lapuk. And he admitted that this is a mistake and this is stupid. Hmm? The bookism, yes, the bookism <laughs> from the religion of Abdulism. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. And uh, today we will speak about how funny and how take they take that take advantage of the naive ones. You see, Indonesian people are, I believe, they are good people. They are beautiful people. And they are the same as many people on this earth who have no idea what Islam is about. They don't speak the language. They don't have knowledge of it. Uh, they have no idea what Islam is about. And then an idiot, a scammer, he come and he speak few Arabic words. And then he supposedly he became an Ustaz. And this is how they make living out of their pocket. Uh, you know, uh, you spend your life learning. And I, like, I'm born speaking Arabic. Still until now, there is... Arabic words we do not know uh, and the Quran is the most silly stupid book because even Muhammad he used a broken Arabic and that make it very hard to understand because of the stupid Arabic he is using and because his Arabic is not Arabic at the end of the day as an example if you go from the first chapter in the Quran you ask the Muslim, what is the Sirat? Everyone give you different meaning. Because Sirat simply is not an Arabic word. If you go to the first chapter Muhammad received in the Quran, which is called number chapter 96, Al-Alaq. It says here, خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ alaq Al-Alaq is not an Arabic word. And then you say Al-Qalam. Al-Qalam is not an Arabic word. And then like you continue like this. It's all over nothing Arabic in the Arabic. So uh, uh, they claim that this is a pure Arabic Quran, but the fact there's nothing about it is a pure Arabic. Quran is not really an Arabic book. It's a collection of languages. Taboot. Jibreel, Harut, Marut, Allah, Quran, the word Quran itself is not an Arabic. In the top of that, Muhammad himself, he says that there is a huge part of the Quran, nobody knows what it's mean. And that's because Muhammad himself is a thief. He just copied what Waraq ibn Nufal he wrote in his book. And Waraq ibn Nufal, if you read the hadith, it says he was translating from the gospel supposedly which is in Aramaic into Arabic and then you will notice when Muhammad is speak about his Quran he say this in order to cover that why he do not know what he is saying and what he is talking about have you ever heard a teacher he give you a lecturer about something and then you ask him a question he says Allah knows best you are the messenger you are the one who sent by the God supposedly so what do you mean Allah knows best so then he says that there is a big part of this book nobody knows nobody knows the interpretation of it save Allah by the way it's false translation when they use the word God because the Quran here is not using the word God using the word Allah and the word Allah does not mean God Allah is a name for the God 
but idiot translating the Quran. Maybe they are using Google translation. So if Muhammad and the Quran agree that there's a lot of chapters or verses in the Quran, nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. So what the purpose of this book? The purpose of this book is to say, and we are the Ustaz. The Ustaz, who is the Ustaz in Islam? And those firmly routed in knowledge say we believe in it all. How you just say it, nobody knows what it's mean and you say we believe in it all. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? You just said nobody knows what it does mean. And then the Ustaz, the one, the Ulama, as you call them in Indonesia, Ustaz, is the one who say we believe in how you can believe in something you don't understand. Ibrahim and sister, the Quran is the only book in the world. You do not need to understand it. And actually, even if you try to understand it, you can't understand it. And the better of us, the one who they are firmly known it like me, I'm taxi and I know it. Is the one who say we believe. And you get the point. Thank you, sister, for the question. What is that, man? You don't know what it's mean, and yet you say I believe. If the Arab who speak Arabic, Al Muhammad saying to them, nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. You are the Ustaz with little hair beard trying to grow grow in it in your beard in your in your in your chin. Uh, and you call yourself Ustaz. Okay, who is the Ustaz when I call me? Hmm? Anyone? Okay, forget about anyone. Any two? Because Allah created everything in bears. <laughs> I mean, this Allah is really good. Very good, very good. I mean, this God is so good, man. Look at this. Allah, he created everything in bears. What the heck? What do you mean everything? Everything, everything, everything. And then we find that everything in bears mean two and two. Two and two, I'm so glad it's not T and T. What two and two? Hmm? Any Abdul? Hello? If you are a person who belong to Abdulism cult called Islam, please feel free and call us. Hmm? Anyone? Anybody? And because the Arabic is very stupid in the Quran, look what happened to Yusuf Ali when he is translating the Quran. Yusuf Ali, he uh, he started reading the Quran and his head started spinning. And then he translated as we follow him. And the fruit of every kind, and he made in pairs, two and two. What the heck? Yeah, because the stupid author of the Quran, he used the word two twice. Zawjain ithnain. When you say Zawjain, already you said two, you idiot. So why you are adding the word ithnain? So the poor Yusuf Ali, he tried to fix it, he could not fix it. He hit his head in the wall. He hit it again. He hit it again. And after all the hitting, he became Ustaz. So the translation says, two and two. So Allah created from every kind two and two? Allah, brother, created from everything two and two. What about four and four? What about five and five, brother? Two and two. What does that mean? Like two chicken, two chicken? Two zakarnaik, two zakarnaik? I mean, this is so deep. This is really deep. 
Hello. <clears throat> They cannot speak English, uh, my friend. They they can speak English. What is that? What are you talking from? From three hundred million people, I don't know how. What is the population of Indonesia? I don't know. Two hundred million, whatever. I mean, hundred of million. They cannot find a stars who speak English. Are you kidding me? Like, hello. I mean, come on. This is big. This is two and two. Yeah, we spoke about this, about uh, the racism of Islam many times. We can watch, we have many videos. Maybe today, if we get the chance, we can ask questions about that. About how Allah is racist against black people. 260 uh, million. Okay, no, 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 hold on. 260 million before I learned how to say Lepuk. Now you have to say 260 million NCP. Because remember, I say Lepuk, so I'm Indonesian now. Actually, I'm thinking to go to Indonesia and marry Indonesian women and give them a small, 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 small Christian prince. And he will sit in his diaper full of poo poo and he will say, Who will debate me? I trained you. And you will see not even one Ustaz will debate the child of CP. Because all of them, they are Lapuk. Very, very Lapuk. Extremely Lapuk. Otherwise, where are they? Okay, forget about the Indonesian. They don't want to call me. Okay, what about other uh, Ustaz? We take Ustaz from all countries around the world. Who is an Ustaz? He think he knew. He is willing to call me. Any Ustaz? Hmm? Any Abdul? If you want, brother, you can bring with you two and two. So you can debate me in pairs. <laughs> in pairs, two and two. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love this book. Very funny, very funny. So, so entertaining. Allah, he created from everything two and two. Are you serious? And then in different verse in the Quran, Allah, he cannot resist be making two and two. So he said, and he is created for you donkeys and horses and a mule. Mule? You just say two and two. What is the mule? What is the two of the mule? Hmm? Chapter 16, verse number eight. And the horses, Allah is counting for us what He created for us, brother. Allah created the mules. Are you sure? Allah created donkeys. I understand. Allah created the horses. I'm sure. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. But Allah created the mules. As I remember, that the mule is the fruit of one night stand date between a horny horse and a horny ass. So as long as Allah, he says he created the mule and he created from everything two and two. So what does that mean? He created for a mule and then later they have babies. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do we have any Abdul there? Any Abdulism there? Hmm? Anyone? Who is an Ustaz? Mayday, Mayday. Ustaz is needed. Mayday, Mayday. Who is an Ustaz there? Hmm? Anyone? Exactly, exactly. Look, let me show you what this brother here, he made a comment. Uh, so we can read together. Uh, Cristiano, Cristian, uh, Cristiano said, Ustaz in Indonesia become most popular occupation, easy money job. They go uh, building Islamic, uh, 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 what, boarding? Look, oops, that, 
Uh, you guys, you push his text. Okay. Uh, okay. Give a dawa based on their uh, uh, imagination, not from the Quran. Absolutely. And it's an easy job. If you are, especially if you are a loser, you cannot accomplish a career. You go to Saudi Arabia, stay there for three months, grow, grow a little beard, hmm? and come back for those poor people and say to them a few Arabic words, and that's it. That will make you a stars. And then you promote yourself in the internet. You bring somebody supposedly. I know a woman from Indonesia. She opened a chat room. You know, uh, they they have a you know a program is called Pal Talk. So one day there is a there is a Muslim room. Every day they bring somebody convert into Islam, taking shahada almost every day. But then suddenly a woman from Indonesia she opened a chat room, and she said she, the title like I want my money. And then people they go there and they, what uh, what is your problem? She said, now for sure this is going to be a lie too. Not necessarily we believe her. Uh, uh, so she said that she uh, she was bringing them people who they are Muslims from Indonesia to say shahada in the room. And they will give her ten dollars for each, sometime even more than ten dollars. And they, did, you know, they promise her they will pay her, and then she never received like she received to a few payment, and then they stop paying her. And then the admin or who the guy who is saying uh, like who is doing this uh, dawa, who is getting a lot of donation from this, uh, uh, in the beginning he deny, and then she have recording of his voice with her, etc. So it was a scandal. So look what they do they get somebody he is a muslim they say to him go in the microphone nobody know you who you are say shahada we give you ten dollars <coughs> and then the ustaz will became famous he promote himself because look there's people taking shahada and the muslims allahu akbar takbir allahu akbar and the Muslims are very naive people. They believe anything. I remember once I went to an Islamic chat room, a huge one. And I, to, I, I, I wrote in the text, I, I was using a nickname, not Christian Prince, different name. Because if I go with my name, they will go crazy. So I type in the chat, uh, yesterday, the Pope of the Catholic and his wife, his third wife and his, mo uh, uh, his mother-in-law who died last year, they converted to Islam, something like that. And you should see the admin was talking in the microphone, the, sh the shake. Brother, 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 stop, stop the text, brother. Nobody type, brother. Nobody type. Look, 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 brother. The Pope of the Catholic and his third wife and his mother in law who died last year converted to Islam today. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And the room went so crazy. And I was dying from laughing. Like, what the heck with those people? I was joking. The Pope, the Pope doesn't have a wife to have third wife. And his mother-in-law, how he will have a mother-in-law if he cannot get married. And who died last year. I just said that his mother-in-law who died last year converted to Islam today. And because they are crazy about this. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And then they noticed that this is stupid. He said, brother, brother, he's, uh, uh, this guy is making fun. This is, uh, this is uh, how he's saying his mother-in-law uh, died last year. <laughs> but for 15 minutes, the chat room was boring with takbir. Takbir, Allahu Akbar, takbir, Allahu Akbar. This is how they are. His third wife, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure not his second wife? <laughs> Maybe his girlfriend, brother. <laughs> oh, so cute, very cute. Oh, stars. How are you, stars? Any stars there, brother? Do we have any stars? Maybe, maybe we are looking for Ustaz. Who is an Ustaz here who would like to call us? Live on air. Anyone? <clears throat> hmm? Anyone? Yeah, I cannot use Muslim videos because my friend, somebody here is asking, instead of uh, begging for debate, there is a plenty of Muslim videos. If I use Muslim videos, they will flag me for copyright. 
You know what I mean? So I avoid using them. And if I use a Muslim video, I use it and I post it in different channel. Otherwise, I would love to play Muslim videos. Trust me. But those cowards, they flag me for copyright right away if I use their video. You think I will not be happy to play Zakir Naik as an example? Especially when Zakir Naik, uh, a woman she asked Zakir Naik, why in Islam there is no woman she is a prophet? Zakir Naik, he like, <clears throat> Hey, brother Sita, the Sita, the Iqil question. Why in Islam there is no woman to the Prophet? And I have to agree. In Islam, we don't have a woman to the Prophet. And there's a reason for that. And it's a very logical reason. If the woman to become a Prophet, they have to read the congregation. And if you read the congregation, they have to do to do, I will do. And that means they have to bend over. And if they bend over, all the Muslim will focus on her ass. And that will be disturbing. Thank you very much. What? What, what? what? The woman, she can't be a prophet because of her ass? If the woman she bought down, the Muslim will focus on her ass. They will not. This is, I mean, public. This is live on TV. And the Muslim, like, whoa, whoa, Ustaz, Ustaz, you are the Ustaz. Look at this answer, brother. This is genius. In Islam, we cannot have a female as a prophet because of her ass. May Allah ask you. And actually, uh, Zakir Naik is right. If you remember, there is a bunch of Muslims they came to the Caliphate. And they told him that we have a guy who is an Imam, but he is uh, like a, you know, homo. And he is seducing us with his bum. Bum. May Allah bum you. He is seducing us by his bum. How we can seduce you while he's been brother? Hmm? Let me find you the hadith. Here we go. I went to Uthman ibn Affan while he was blah, 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 blah. And I said to him, you are the chief of the Muslims. The general, blah, 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 blah. We have an imam, a leader of fitna, trial and affliction. Affliction? How this guy can do affliction for you? May Allah afflict you. <laughs> because of his bomb. So he's saying, we are afraid. We are afraid from what? We are afraid of being sinful following him like what the heck the guy is just a gay what happened to you how he how he make a trial on you the answer is very simple he bow down they see his bum they get tempted well if you are not a gay you will not get tempted correct guys this is a proven to us that the believers are a bunch of gays otherwise how this guy can tempt you he's a man how a man if he bow down will tempt you and there at the end they says ah look and the caliphate he says still you pray behind him the the caliphate is very open-minded he's from san francisco i don't care if he's a gay or not you pray behind him so the guys he said they came back he says okay well in our opinion one should not offer salat behind an effeminate person unless there is no alternative <laughs> <laughs> so Zakir Naik was right. Muslims, they get tempted by anything in the front of them, bend over. A man, a woman, you name it. Hmm? My friend, he can call me. Who cares? Don't tell me somebody want to call me. Call me. Don't tell me I want to call you. Call me. My Skype is open. Hmm? Like yesterday, the Indonesian guy, he said, <clears throat> one, I th one of the things I like about Islam is uh, is the prayer i mean what does that mean you know it, it's very funny prayer actually because you bend over and the ass of the guy in front of you is just hitting your head especially that the prophet he allowed muslims to fart in the mosque as long they don't hear it and they don't smell it which means if the, if it come with the if if the one behind you he hear it and smell it it's okay because he's very close to your bum If you are a Muslim, give me your give me your ID in Skype, and we will call you. No problem. 
there's a video is made by Muslims about uh, uh, farting. And there's tons of videos actually about farting. Because there's books about farting Islam. About how to fart in the mosque. Uh, let us see some. And all is teaching of the Prophet. My uncle said, the Prophet said, one should not leave his prayer unless he hears sound or smells something. <laughs> so if we have a silent fart, it's okay. Why? Wait, wait, what does that mean? Hello? S but is it this is a cheating if if farting is insulting to the prayer and it's bad in the house of God what a difference between between a fart with sound and a fart without sound hello a complaint was made to the prophet about a man who sensed something Send what? Send what? Something. What the heck does that mean? How will you understand what something means? What something? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to understand the something here. What something? He sent something? Guys, I sent something here. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I sent something. I mean, what is that? What is that? I sent something. 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 I sent I I sent something. Something. Something, some song, some song, some song, so so. You send something? What is that, brother? Some doubt about his evolution. Look, what the heck? This guy supposedly is explaining, he put it between two bracket. <laughs> what does that mean? Some doubt about his evolution during the prayer. The fact doesn't say that, you idiot. A shay of his salat, the donkey who is trying to translate, maybe he's using Google. This is about the fault, you idiot. Then he says, he should not leave the prayer unless he notices a smell or hear a sound. Wisdom. Whiz. And dumb. What the heck? English is very funny. Whiz. Dumb. <laughs> I feel something. <laughs> I feel something, and you know it. What the heck is that? That's deep. This religion, religion is this religion is so deep. Do we have any uh, ustaz? Who is an ustaz would like to call us? Hello. Allah Messenger said, if one of you feel disturbance in his stomach and doubt whether he has released some wind or not, like what wind, man? This is very windy story. <laughs> Open the windows, brothers and sisters. The books of farting just opened. We have tons of thousands of hadith of the Prophet about farting. Farting occupy a huge number of the lecturer of the Prophet Muhammad. Actually, this topic we can only open in an open space. Yeah, don't eat a cucumber, exactly. <laughs> oh boy. Any Abdul? <coughs> Anyone? Hello? Where, where is the Abdul? What's happening? Why the Abduls are not doing something? Who is the Abdul when I explain to us this wisdom? Hmm? This is what the prophet of God teach. Look how many. Look, 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 look. It's endless, bro. It's endless. Look, look, look. What, 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 what is the one? The message of Allah, S-A-W-S. Um, uh, 
I always get dizzy when I see these letters. I see them in cars. I see them. I mean, they are. I don't know. S A W S. How come they have an S at the end this time? Usually they say S A W and they stop. I think this is uh, the prophet after he got a new his new LED installed. What is that? Any Muslim can tell us why if you fart, that is a problem for Allah. I mean, what the difference between the gas inside you and the gas outside of you? It's supposed to be better because now the gas is outside. You know what I mean, guys? I mean, if the if the gas is inside, it that will make you dirty. If about you know you Muslim you do ablution supposed to clean yourself right but the gas is inside let the gas go. Do you think that when you pray to Allah and you fart, the prayer will go there with fart smell? Hmm. Like Allah, He opened the envelope. Okay, Ustaz Asuma. Okay, Ustaz, hold on. Let us find an Ustaz. What is name of this guy? Ustaz uh, Binji. His name is Binji? No. Uh, Bikini. Okay, Ustaz Bikini Baralajan. Ustaz Bikini Baralajan was praying to Allah and he farted. Allah, he opened the envelope of Mr. Bikini Baralajan and he found in the envelope. What the heck is that? What the heck? Uh, what? Mm, Allah has got so upset. I curse you for farting in the prayer. What is that? What? Farting is very dangerous, brother. And not only that, by the way, Muhammad, he have his own expertise in farting. As an example, he said that when the Muslim, they pray, Shaitan starts farting. And this is a proven, by the way, scientifically to be correct. And I will prove it to you. The Prophet said, Please show respect, everybody. Please hold your hands together. Okay, repeat after me. The Prophet said, When Satan hear the call of a prayer, he turn his back and break wind. Okay, and what is the reason for this Fatim, brother? The Prophet continued to explain to us. So he break wind, the brother, so as not to hear the call being made, brother. Look at this devilish devil. He's trying to stop the prayer to Allah by his farting so he don't hear it. I have a better way for most of shaitan. What about you go to Amazon and you, uh, you, you purchase a headset with the active noise cancelling? <laughs> And trust me, you will hear nothing, especially the one is made by Sony. <laughs> I mean, where the shaitan will get all this farting? Especially if you are a shaitan and live in Indonesia. You are very unlucky. That's me, shaitan, he have to eat a lot of a cucumber. Any Abdul? Is that really real? Is your prophet serious here? Muslim Skype. Okay, hold on. Look like we got a fish. Hold on. Uh, my Skype is not busy. What busy? It's open. <clears throat> okay, let's add this uh, Muslim. <coughs> All right, Mr. Mr. Hello. His name is Mr. Hello. Call us Mr. Hello. 
as long as you claim that you are a Muslim, you are welcome. Call us, I send you hello. <coughs> Are you there, Mr. Hello? We added the name you gave me. Let me call him. Not answering, this is a fake name. Who is next? Give us something real. Hmm? Okay, he said he want to go to a quieter room. Okay, let's see. Look like we got an Ustaz. We got an Ustaz, guys. We got an Ustaz. No, no, he said he needs just five minutes to go to a quieter room. Maybe where he is, Shaitan is farting now. So, you know, <laughs> you know it's possible. All right. We will give him five minutes. <clears throat> and by the way, uh, this uh, this hadith here is very proven scientifically, and I will prove it to you. I'm sure many of you heard. First of all, what is the farting? Anyone can tell me what is the farting is made of? Anyone knows? Let's see how you guys how good you are in science. Ustad, even Ustad is wrong, because Ustad, Ustad, Ustad mean mean a stadium. <laughs> what Ustad? This is Ustaz. What Ustad? Anyway, let it go. Methane gas. Okay, what? Give me, give me the chemical. CH four. Thank you very much. CH four. Unbelievable! Those guys are very good in uh, in uh, the Arabic. A brother and sister. The knowledge of the Prophet proven a global warming. If not the Prophet, we will not know about the global warming in advance fourteen and days ago, brother. A brother and sister. Do you know that the farting can cause a huge problem for the global warming? And the Odon will be damaged. And then the sun will damage the earth. And the Prophet, he warned us about the global warming. Because Satan, he have to fart five times a day. And there is 1.4 billion Muslims are praying to Allah. To imagine, brother, how much fart is global. Blah, 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 blah. What the heck? Now we know where global warming is coming from. It's not from the cars or anything. It's from the fart of Satan. You pray, Shaitan fought. He fought to pray. There's there's an un, unstop, an unstopped connection between Allah, prayer, and Shaitan farting. Hello, hello. Uh, this is Mr. Bean. Sorry, uh, the one is talking to you right now. Uh, this is Mr. Bean. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. I mean Ustad. Ustad. Sorry. Ustad, Mr. Bean. Ustad. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Uh, Ismillah la malaim. Aloud billahi min al taytani al ladim. Hmm. Hmm. All of you are ustads, but none of you knows how to say anything to me about your religion, Mr. Ustad. And even the word ustads, I found even that word they use it wrong. There's nothing. It's called ustad. It is ustads. Mean, oh man.
So what happened to this guy? He said he needs five minutes to go to the room. I hope the room is not like in the beach somewhere. It's taking forever. <clears throat> any uh, any Abdulism would like to call us? Uh, you know, this is what happens when you have uh, people who are doing volunteer work, my friend. It takes them time to finish things. So the book in German is done, really. But uh, the one who will do prepare the file for printing is taking a long time. What we can do. <clears throat> do we have any Abdulism would like to call us? And yes, Mr. Bean, he graduated and he became Ustad. And um, uh, Mr. Bean, he was astonished when he saw the Kaaba flooded by the sewage. Especially if we know that Allah is the one who chose the location. Unbelievable. I mean, Allah could not find really better place for the Kaaba than this place. Where the sewage always cover it all over. Hello, and this is the proof of brother that the Kaaba is a holy location chosen by Allah. What the heck? And look, the, the guy there is. Do you see the guys are swimming, guys? Do you see the people are swimming in the around the Kaaba? Man, oh man. And Allah is the one who chose the location for the Kaaba. Allah is the worst engineer. So who, let us call this guy again. I don't know what happened. Let us ask him first. Ready? Any Abdulism would like to call us for free? We are here happy to hear your voice or your farting. The Prophet, he learned a lot from Allah. And the knowledge of Allah is in front of you. Muhammad himself, he learned this from Allah. That shaitan, he fought when you Muslim pray. This is very deep. I feel sorry for shaitan. If you look at his uh, bum, it must be red like fire from farting. Non-stop. And all of this to stop hearing the prayer. Call uh, Amazon, make an order for active noise cancelling headset. Put it in your head, Mr. Shaitan. You will hear nothing, brother. And by the way, Mr. Shaitan, according to Islam, is a brother in the in, in the religion of Islam. Not only that, Muhammad he says that Shaitan he command him to do good. If shaitan he fought during the prayer, no, shaitan he fought. Not only that, actually, there's a hadith. You remind me of a hadith now. I don't want to talk about it. This is very serious. I will I will wait for the caller and I will quote the hadith. Let me call him again and see what happened to this guy. <clears throat> because if you don't answer, I will block him. I'm not going to wait for him. All right. Well, it looks like he's fake. <clears throat> he told me first he want to find a quiet room. Now he's eating something. I gave him final warning. Call now or I will block you. Now you decide to eat? Now? Okay. Let us give him a minute. If he call, he call. If not, I will block him. Hello? 
second brother. Let's get out of here. We have no time for kids. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Brother, I watched your live stream yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, you were saying that the Prophet only has to speak the language of the people, right? Mm -hmm. So, if I can bring this up real quick, that's actually not true, brother, because it says, um, the verse, it says, and we send not a messenger except with the language of his people mm -hmm. in order that he might make mm -hmm. the message clear for them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, the them actually means the people of his bloodline in Arabic. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, so, if Jesus came, um, came to the Israelites, mm -hmm. he had to speak Hebrew. Because mm -hmm. he was from the bloodline from them, mm -hmm. and then when he, uh, um, he of course he have to, yeah, yeah that's all. So uh, Muhammad wasn't from the bloodline of the Indonesians. Mm -hmm. He wasn't of the bloodline of the Indians. He wasn't the bloodline of the Germans. Mm -hmm. It's talk about the bloodline. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just confirm what I said. You just confirm that Muhammad, if he is a prophet, he cannot be a prophet to the Indonesian. Because he have to be speaking the language of Indonesian, he was to be from the blood of Indonesian in order to be a prophet for the Indonesian. You just said yes, he have to be because he was sent to the Arab. He have to do. He have to be an Arab person from the Arab, speak the language of the Arab. So you agreed with me? No, no, because he wasn't from the bloodline of the Indonesians. If he was, he had to speak My Indonesian. My friend, I understand. I just want to say it already. You said that already. He is not from the Indonesian. The Quran says we never send a messenger unless he is from the people and speak the language of the people, correct? But the, in Arabic, it says from the bloodline of the people. It isn't from, from, from what? The people, from what? From like what? Muhammad came. Yes, from the blood. Right. Right. Okay, from, from, from the blood. From the blood. He is one of them. From the, from, he is one of them, right? He have to be one of them and he have to speak their tongue, correct? No, the, he has to know the language of the bloodline of his people. Not okay. People when you say his people, teach. when you say his people, I'm trying to understand how you think. When you say his people, didn't you just say it from his blood? His people. What his people mean? His blood. His um, blood. You know. His, his... Let me bring up the Arabic words. Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? Read for me in Arabic. As long, as long as you are saying to me in Arabic, read yes, for us in Arabic. Go ahead. All right, let me open this real quick. But okay, yes. show me the word what says how mean. How mean you don't speak Arabic, I can't tell. Correct, <laughs> not clearly. No, you don't speak I'm Arabic. Arabic. Oh, don't play games, you don't speak Arabic. See it, hand the okay. Yes, yes, okay. okay so don't act like you know Arabic. Arabic. Etc. So we never send. A messenger except by the tongue of his people only he his people okay now his people how I can be from the people unless I am from their blood right um, the people is uh, uh, the people of the bloodline mm -hmm. thank you so Muhammad in order to be a messenger for the Indonesian or Filipinos or Indian or uh, European or Japanese he have to be from their bloodline correct no, it says if he comes as an Arab, he knows Arabic. If he comes as a Hebrew, no, he knows no, Hebrew. No, no, doesn't say that. It says we never send a message, neither a messenger, except the tongue of the people, of his people. So he have to be from the people, and he agreed, and he have to speak the language of the people. So Muhammad, in Indonesia have many ethnic groups. It's not one ethnic group. So if, if Allah want to send a messenger to the Indonesian, he have maybe to send 400 messengers at least, or maybe 700. So the, because he have to be from every tribe, from their blood, they are different nations, and they speak many languages. And then each one of those messengers, he have to be from the blood and speak the tongue of the people. And that why the Quran explain why. So it might be able to make it clear for them, correct? Does it say that? 
Yeah, in the next verse it okay. says that. Okay, so the, you agree with the Quran saying that the, the 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 teaching will be clear only to them if it is in the in their language. This is why Allah He sent the Prophet uh, speak in the language of the people. Do you agree with Allah? Um, and we have not sent a message. So yeah, it will be made clear to the people he comes. Okay, so how, how the Quran can be made clear now to somebody from Indonesia? I'm going with your Quran now. The Quran is saying that what is the reason he do that? To make it clear to them. This is why he never sent. Never. He never. This, because this is stupid to be. This is what the Quran is saying. This is it's a stupid to send a man who don't speak their tongue to speak to them. I mean, this is stupid. So I will send. Imagine, imagine Christian Prince. He saw to Indonesia. He speak only one English, uh, one one word. Uh, lapuk. You know what lapuk mean? No. Shish kebab. So shish kebab. Yeah. That's really delicious. Huh? I like shish kebab. Yeah. Okay. I just taught you uh, Indonesia now. So I go to Indonesia. I say to you lapuk, and now I am a messenger of Allah. But I don't speak their language. So what I will say to them, people will laugh at me. So how Muhammad? Yes. Who is a messenger can be a messenger for all mankind including Indonesian if the Quran is saying that because we need to make it clear to them and you yourself you don't speak Arabic and you could not even pronounce one word in it in, in it so how that will make it clear to you and this is why you are very confused in little tiny verse as we see little verse you're getting dizzy with it So, what you're saying right now is that he had to, because according to this verse, it says that he had to be those, he had to know those languages to make it clear to them. Not only to make it clear, if not he, only to know language, like the Quran, but two conditions. He had to be, it says, qawmahu, which means his people, from the people. Okay, his people. Qawma. Qawma. Qawmahu, not qawma. Don't teach me Arabic. Come on. Qawmahu. So, his people. And he have to speak speak the tongue of his people, which means he have to know the language. So there's two conditions you need to know to have to be from the people, and that make you automatically speak the tongue of the people. So to speak their tongue and to be from them. Why? So they might make it clear to them. Otherwise, Allah will never send any messenger if you don't have those conditions. So how Muhammad is a messenger for Indonesian people. Where are you from, my friend? Which country are you from? I am from uh, everywhere, brother. You are from everywhere. Yeah, I'm originally from Turkey. I'm originally from Turkey. Oh, you're originally from Turkey. Aman Rabbi Aman. Okay, you are a Turkish guy. <laughs> how Aman Rabbi Aman can understand Roman? You cannot Amen. understand Roman. So Aman Rabbi yeah. Aman, Muhammad, he was saying to you a lot of things, which is Kharban. So how do you understand mm. now as a Turkish guy? You have no idea. Or what you will do now, you will say to me, you are Ustaz. Are you Ustaz too? Are you Ustaz in Turkey? What does Ustaz mean? I'm sorry. Uh, teacher, teacher for Islam, Mullah, big shaykh. According to the Indonesia, they call anyone, uh, anyone he grow a beard, they call him Ustad. Ustad, actually, not Ustaz. That's what they call him. They call, told me they call him Ustad. So, so like in school, high school, the, uh, yeah, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So now, what we would do with this? That based on this, Muhammad is a false prophet because he cannot be a prophet, prophet for all mankind, and all of Islam is a lie because the Quran says it clearly: Allah never, ever send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people, which means he will send him to his people, not to all mankind, in order to make it clear for them. The Quran in Arabic, but, even it's not clear even for the Arab. Was the Quran clear for the Arab? Uh, no. No. But, so, so are you saying to me, Allah, he failed? Are you saying, are you agreeing with me that Allah, he failed to make it clear to them? Allah uh, didn't fail. He explicitly done it. And he also did. Uh, you know, you just say uh, 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 my friend, over what's, what's, your, what's your name? What, what's your and name? Those three words. Are we going to know at the hold, end hold, of the hold, day? Hold, hold on. What's your name? Huh? What's your name? 
Oh, my name is. Uh, you can just start with uh, Mr. Hello. No, okay, give me a name to call you. What is your name? What is your name? Ahmed. 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 Yes. Okay, Ahmed. Ahmed, the dead terrorist. Okay, Ahmed. Listen. It's... If we ask anyone who speak Arabic, do you understand the Quran? He will say no. And I am an Arab. This is the most stupid book ever. Do you agree with me saying that nobody understand the Quran? Yes or no? So the Allah was taught. I'm asking you. Like, I want. I want to answer. Do the Arab. Do the Arab. Do the Arab, who so Arabic, do the Arab who speak Arabic. Do the Arab who speak pure Arabic. Arab, Arab, not Persian, yes. not Turkish. Yes. Do they understand the Quran? No, Allah, Allah didn't uh, okay. uh, make so, them to answer the whole of the Quran. No, not all. It's I'm just, saying, do they understand the Quran? The Quran, if Allah, if we gave them this book, one book, it's called the Quran. Do they understand it? Yes. They understand it? Of course. Okay. What if I saw you? If I show you that your prophet, he's saying that you are not telling the truth, because your prophet says no. Your prophet, he said that. But what, what do you mean by I'm Okay, how many how many Quran like your how many Quran Allah like. how much how many Quran Allah prophet he received? Like, uh, revelation so Quran. How many Quran? One, two, three, four, what? There's one Quran. One Quran. What if I say to you no? Muhammad he says one Quran is not enough, and the the Arab they cannot understand one Quran, so they needed seven Quran. Could you please uh, provide me with the evidence, brother? Okay, here we go. It's in the screen. Can you read it for us, please? Can you read? Yes. I'll ask command you to say to your people the Quran in one dialect. Hmm. Continue reading. Okay, read, read loud. Read loud so people can hear you. Okay. Allah, Allah, brother, Allah, my yes. Um, could you read it first, brother? No, no, my, my, my English is very bad. Your English is better. You read it for us. No, I <laughs> better. You did Arabic excellent. Uh, my, uh, my Arabic Allah, is good, uh, but my English is very funny. And uh, I, I can read for you in, uh, uh, in. Let me read it for you first in Indonesian. Uh, Allah, uh, la book. Okay. Uh, you recite la book to your la book, uh, Quran, la book. Okay, now it's your turn. Read yeah, for us in English, please. I just finished the Indonesian part. Now you read for us in English. What the Prophet saying? Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Upon this, he said, I ask from Allah pardon and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. He then came for the second time and said, Oh, Allah has commanded you that you should recite the Quran to your people in two dialects. Upon this, he, the Holy Prophet, could you go down? Okay. Continue. Uh, let me. Um, okay. Um, I seek pardon and forgiveness. Um, I fast forward the video because it's not possible. I seek pardon and forgiveness. Continue. Open this up and the whole. That's from one. Read, read, read. Forgiveness, my people. Um, I seek pardon and forgiveness from. Yeah, bro. Wait. Okay, okay, yeah. I seek pardon and forgiveness from Allah. My people would not be able to do so. He Gabriel came to the third time and said, Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to the in two dialects. Upon this, he said, I ask pardon and forgiveness from. Here you go. Yeah. Okay, so uh, to make it simple, uh, uh, the Prophet says, My people, many times, he said, seven, six times, my people are not capable to do so with one Quran, two Quran. Three Quran, four Quran, five Quran, six Quran. My people can do the Quran, can handle the Quran if it is seven Quran. Do you agree with the Prophet? Mm. Yes, agree? that's what he said, of course. Is it Sahih Bukhari? Okay. But imagine uh, two minutes ago, you said to me, one Quran is enough. Just because I showed you the Prophet says, suddenly you switch your opinion and suddenly you agree immediately. How come a second ago you said to me, no, one, one Quran is enough? Isn't it you who said to me two minutes, less than 60 seconds ago, you said to me, one Quran is enough. And now the Arab, who they are Arab, I was meaning, they need seven Quran. One, one, I wasn't meaning translations, of course. Mm -hmm. so, 
I said um, we have one cool one, but yeah, dialects or something else, just like languages, right? What doesn't matter. Yeah. Dialect is seven languages in the Quran, seven Arabic, because there's tribes. So there's seven seven dialect for a group of people who they are small in number, just to make them understand. And those are Arab. Okay, but, all right, brother. If you look at um, many, there are so much uh, dialects like Persia, Iran. You have so many dialects, uh, like the Arabs. Remember, this was this is not modern time. This is way back when there were millions of languages in maybe one place, and the Arabs had many dialects back in the day. Uh, my friend, if the Arab they cannot, and the Arab they are Arab still this speak the same language. We need seven Quran just for the Arab. That means we need more than seven hundred Quran in the Indonesian too. If the Arab who they are Arab, they are tens of thousands, few small number, <laughs> and we need seven Quran in order to make the Quran clear for them. So how in the world somebody from Indonesia? <laughs> it's dialect exactly. You see, it's mean it's the same language, but yet even because of dialect, that will not make it clear for them. And Muhammad keeps saying, my people will not be able to do so over that. Do you see it? It's not me who's saying that. Muhammad saying, my people would not not be able to do so so those are a small tiny number of arab and yet they are not able to do so but can i give you an example man brother uh, brother brother you give me example the prophet they give you example brother what do you want to say to your prophet seven quran just for the arab do we have seven quran for the turkish uh, uh, let me give you uh, no, 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 don't give me an example. I, I'm asking so you, do you have seven Quran for the Turkish? Uh, if, if there are many dialed, hmm? you, you could not understand anything, almost anything, then of course there are more Qurans in Turkish, like different dialects. What if I'm asking you, do you have seven Quran in Turkish? Did Allah send you seven Quran in Turkish? No. Okay. Did Allah seven? There's a, there's did Allah seven? Did Turkey. Allah send seven Torah to the Jews? Seven Torahs D depends if they have different dialects according to they dialects. Have, they have. They, they have. Said. They have many tribes. They yes. They have different dialects. Why Allah did not send seven Torah? Why Allah did not seven, 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 why Allah did not seven go, send seven gospels? What this is seven thing? And why it is seven? About what about six? What about seven? What about eight? Maybe. Nine? Nine? What? I mean, there is there is more there. Like, they are like what, uh, people in uh, even 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 like you know uh, just to show you how silly. If if the reason not to understand the Quran is a dialect, like, that's mean east of London need a Quran, west of London need a Quran, south of London need a Quran, north of London need a Quran. Because each one of them have his own dialect. If we go to Scotland, we need a new Quran. If we go to Ireland, we need a new Quran because it's a different dialect. So look how silly this religion is. The Arab who they are Arab, they cannot still understand the Quran, and Allah need to send seven dialect Quran. Yet they are all Arab. So how seven hundred language country like Indonesia will understand the Quran? Wait, do you have dialects in Indonesia, brother? They have languages, not only dialect. They have languages. They have more than seven hundred languages. Let me teach you one of them, Lapuk. Lapuk. So, okay, if I if I am, uh, do you know what Lapuk means? Did you learn? Only... Do you know what Lapuk means? Dialect. No language. La no, Lapuk does not mean language. It means shish kebab. My friend, your religion is shish kebab. By the way, Lapuk does not mean shish kebab. Lapuk means expired. Your prophet is expired. His stories are expired. And this is a stupid story. But the, I will tell you why Muhammad, he says that he came, Allah gave him seven Quran. Do you know why the reason? Why? I will show you from the Quran. Show me, show. Do you Muslim forget the see. Quran? Say again, brother. Do you Muslim forget the Quran? Of course, anyone can forget anything. No, do you, you Muslim forget the Quran? What do you mean by that? Do you Muslims forget the Quran? What do you mean by forget the Quran? The book or some verses? Quran, or any what? Quran, verses, whatever. Could you be more do you specific? forget the Quran? Do Muslims forget the Quran? A verse. Hmm. Who is? Who, do Muslims? So if, I, if I know the Quran, let's say I. 
No, you forget the Quran totally. You forget the like verses you cannot remember in the Quran. Not even a single Muslim can remember. Is that true? There is something like that. Nobody can remember those verses. We don't. No. I I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Read this and try not to laugh. What is this? Allah He caused the Muslim to forget the Quran. What do you say about this? Um, quite a number of people of the book which they concern the people. Um, brother, just give me the answer. So, verse 106, right? Yeah, from the chapter. Do you know None what chapter of our is? revelations do we abrogate or be uh, caused to be forgotten, hmm. but we substitute something better or hmm. similar. No, we still not that Allah had power over all things. Hmm. Hmm. All right, okay. all right. Okay. So, what this means, brother, do you know? Is, do you know, do you know uh, uh, what chapter this chapter is? Uh, Quran, uh, Quran, verse one hundred six, and this chapter. Quran, actually, verse one hundred six. It was a Quran, verse one hundred six. I, I, I no, listen, listen. A few weeks ago, I said to you, "Do you know what chapter this is?" You said to me, "Quran one hundred six." This is verse. Say again. What chapter oh, oh. are you reading from? Hmm. Surah Quray, a Quraysh. Quray what? Surah what? No, it's like um, okay. I will you remind me, you. Brother. I will give you a hint to remember. This is chapter of what? <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, a calf. A cat. This is a cat. Listen again. Calf, calf, calf. A cow, cow. You know, chapter two, cow. Uh -huh. cow. This is the chapter of the cow. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is the chapter of the cow. Saying that Allah He calls you to forget the Quran. How smart is that? It says um, it, it, the verse won't be forgotten, but not. What do you mean by forgotten? Yeah. Here we go. It says, or cause to be forgotten. None of our revelation we right. create or cause to be forgotten. All right. Hmm. So, like. Throughout the uh, to, uh, to the akhira, or uh, if, yeah, yeah, just like forever, eternally, the verse will never be forgotten. Like the verse was Abdul, still. Abdul, it says, it says, it. cause to be it forgotten. Is. Respect your God, Allah. Otherwise, He will do something to you. Do you know that the Quran says, if you don't believe in Allah and you respect what Allah is saying, Allah will insert a chain in your anus. stuff look brother what is stuff blah, 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 blah. don't say things you don't know to say did Allah say that or not no of course not why it's saying in my anus man come on man bro okay well, what what if I show you that he says that what if I show you that he said that if you show me Allah in the Quran huh okay I will show you in the Quran if I show you in the Quran what you would do We'll see. That's yeah. not true. Okay, here we Look, go. I'm not saying that. Okay, here we a go. chain in the <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, here we go. Uh, let us see. Astaghfirullah. Come on. Uh, here we go. Chapter 69. Even the chapter is 69. It's sexual. I told you it's sexual. Allah is very smart. This is a miracle. In chapter 69. Further make him march in march in chain. What march in chain? They will insert a chain in his anus. Read it. I can open right now for you Islamic interpretation for the verse. Chapter 69, verse number 32. 32. Further make him march in a chain whereof the length is 70 cubits. Hmm. What do you say about that? Was this? Hmm. What do you say? Allah will insert, insert, and by the way, this chain is not 70 cubits, cubit of the of the size of Allah. Every ring of the chain is uh, is equal to the iron you have in the whole universe. Imagine how big it is. 
let me show you Ibn Kathir. You want to see Ibn Kathir? Because you might you might think I'm making things up. Okay. We go to Ibn Kathir. And we will see. Because when you say to me, uh, uh, Billah, and say, what, what does that mean? What is Billah? The book? No, it was like uh, Allah forbid, like it's not true, you know, no, my friend, evil no, stuff. No, no, brother. no, he said that. So if I mean, no, he you said know, that. He said Allah. Evil, I say, no, Allah. He said, Allah, okay. But this okay, hold on, hold on. Like, come on, but but let us see. Let us see if it's true or not. I'm not making things up. I don't make things up. Here we go. All right. Let us see. I will put it for you on the screen and you read it for us and you tell us if this is true or not. Okay. Okay. Here. Do you see the screen? You see the screen? Mm -hmm. okay. Then read for us. I see it. Okay. Yeah, read loud, please. Salute. Well, well. Then first name on chain worlds like seventy comes up conversation. Read read loud, read loud. So people they those in, in well, well, my voice is not good. My friend, I don't, don't care about you. We are not asking you to sing. We are not asking you to sing. Read, read. Just don't worry about your voice. Read. Let us hear you. Okay, um, let me put this YouTube uh, video volume down. So I can hear you clear. Mm. Uh, each cubit will be for the four arms length of an angel. Mm. Every ring yes. of the of this. Uh, uh, chain every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of iron around the world you, you believe it how much yeah, iron, just... how much iron we have in this world yes. every ring of it Amen. is equal to all the iron in the world that's me like a billions of tons of iron okay and then it says here yeah, that, that's then, iron, man. then fast that's in him iron. read for me you said to me i am when i said to you you insert it in your anus you said no read it does it say that Read it, read it. It says every ring of it. Where, where, where? Well, I don't see anything or anything. Read it, read it. Read it here. I'm showing you. For where? For where? Brother? Uh, wait, let me. Uh, read it, read it loud, read it loud. Okay. You must be proud about Allah. Read it. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What is that? Why do you keep saying Bismillah? Bismillah. Oh, this is not Quran. This is Tafsir. The first. So why you are with Bismillah, Bismillah, Bismillah? What does that mean? Come on, stop doing this, this stupid thing. Read it. It's going to be inserted where? Where Allah will insert this chain? Say it. Say it. Why you don't say it? Where Allah will insert the chain? Who's saying this? Who's saying this? Uh, Allah saying this. Where Allah will insert the chain? It doesn't say, it doesn't say botox. It says botox. Here we go. It. This is Ibn Kathir. He's explained the verse for you. It says, Asliku, insert it. He's saying, when insert it, according to the Prophet, insert it in your anus. And this is Abbas. So saying that this is Ibn Abbas, Ibn the cousin of your Prophet, who, the Prophet, he prayed for him to be the scholar of the of the of the nation. He says it will be run into his behind in his anus, actually in Arabic, until it's brought out of from his nose. Do you see it? Anyway, move your hand, man. Don't put yeah, your hand. Yeah, but thank you for your the well, is, don't put your, free because even cut. I don't know. Maybe this might Mirza. be a change thing or something, but Mirza. I will watch it. I will look it up. Mirza. Mirza, listen. You do not need to put your hand there. You are safe for now. Okay, don't worry. Nothing happened now. Allah will insert in the anus of a human being a chain. Don't you think this is weird? I mean, is, is that, isn't it a sexual punishment, this one? I mean, what is this? And why in the ring of each one of them, how you how big is the anus of a human being? How you can insert every ring of it equal to the entire amount of iron around the world? 
And then how big is the anus? How you can put all this arrow in there? Okay, forget it. I'm not going to... Uh, thank you, brother. Okay, yeah, thank you, brother. We go back here. Uh, we go, okay, we're back here. We go back here. So we go back to the Quran now. Allah will cause you to forget the Quran. How that happened? Because, because of this, Muhammad, he fabricated those verses because he cannot remember the verses. So how he explained to the Muslims why yesterday he recited the Quran different from today? He said, Allah give me the Quran in seven dialect. Otherwise, you tell me what is the wisdom, especially it says here, none of our revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we will give we will give you something similar. Similar. Well, if it is similar, why you wanna why you wanna cause me to forget it? It says similar or better. Explain to me this is similar and better. What do you think? I I I respect your intelligence. You are very smart. By the way, I noticed you are you are the, you are you are the smartest between all your brothers and sisters. I noticed that. Well, it says mm. none of your revelation to be a broker or cause to be forgotten. Mm. But we substitute something better or similar. No, sir. Allah has uh, okay. over all things. So okay, how Allah how Allah can send Quran better than the Quran? Allah will send Quran better than the Quran. Um. No, not something better objectively, but this subjectively. So subjectively, I might so what, what, say that's objectively, subjectively. So what, 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 hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Is not objectively is subjectively. What, what does that mean? It's a Quran. Allah making teaching. How his teaching can be better than his teaching? <laughs> no, I mean from the eyes of the guys who are receiving the. It doesn't matter. No, Allah saying uh, Allah is the one who describe it as better or similar. Not you, not me. When he says it's better, you have to admit it is better. Otherwise, he would insert a chain in your anus. You better be careful, brother. So he well, said something if better. If how, how, is, uh, how the Quran of Allah? How the Quran? How the Quran? And then I don't Abdulism. understand it, but the guy Abdulism. understands Abdulism. it. Abdulism. And Abdulism. And Abdulism the teacher is going to tell me. Let me explain you in other way, a better way. Maybe that you specifically can understand it, ah. and then he's going to give me a better way. This is subjective. Okay. So so. so for uh, from my point of view, brother, uh, okay. but my friend, um, you know, yeah, exactly. What? Where is the answer? I'm waiting. I, I said, <laughs> what, what the heck? I'm waiting for the answer. How it is better? Something better? Okay, I I want to make a verse now. Eat cheese kebab. Eat falafel. Okay, now I'm going to give you something better. So what I would do? I will switch the words. I say, eat falafel. Eat cheese kebab. Because it says similar. So how it is better or similar? If it is similar, there's no point of making me forget the first one. Because it's similar. If it is better than Allah, that means Allah, he went to school and now he got better education. He's fixing something wrong. How, how Allah teaching can be better than Allah teaching? It can't. Everything is perfect from Allah. What? What what what? Everything from Allah is perfect. Everything from Allah is perfect. If it's perfect, why Allah will make something better if it's already perfect? You just you just got Allah busted now. Thank you, Mirza. Guys, the five fingers of Mirza is an Allah bomb already. He just said Allah always do perfect things. So if they are perfect, how Allah will send something better from His perfect Quran? So he is not send, sending actually uh, anything better. It's just better for the specific guy who didn't understand it. What's uh, this understand? So are you saying to me first uh, first time Allah made a verse, people could not understand it because he thought he's wrong. He thought they are can't understand it. So it's not perfect. So Allah, he sent no. a verse according to what you just said now. And he thought people would understand it. And then he decided to make you forget it because obviously it's a stupid and nobody can understand it. So Allah, he wrote again the verse in a different way, and now it is better. Well, if you have a room of 100 people, hmm. and you explain something, and 99 of them understand it, but only one don't, but then you explain a different kind of... Uh, so Allah will, person, guys, so look at this. Can, if you have a room of 100 people, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99
99999999 understand Saddam Hussein. And the number one who is not able to understand and vote yes for Saddam Hussein, he could not say I agree because his finger was cut off. What are you talking about? Allah will make better Quran. So people will understand it. What about first time? Don't he knew? Can't Allah make the Quran perfectly understood for all mankind? Isn't it the Quran says we make this Quran a clear book? Well, or, uh, if then they showed that free will was gone, we won't have free will. Don't, don't, don't go there. Don't go there. We showed you many times before there's no free will. What a free will? Understanding even, even understanding about free will. So are you saying to me that Allah, if He make it clear for you that about a free will now, how stupid is that, man? I'm asking you. Isn't it we showed you a verse saying Allah never sent a verse except in the tongue of the people so it might be clear for them, correct? Yeah. Okay. So now Allah, He sent you a Quran to make it clear for you in Arabic, but yet you are Turkish. Look how silly Allah is. Now, now the Turkish guy who don't speak well, Arabic, he can understand. Hold Turkish. on. Who cannot understand the Quran, but now we just said that Allah He will send better Quran in Arabic, better than the old Quran, because there's one person that understand. We have 200 million, 260 million in Indonesia do not speak Arabic, and they don't understand. You are the one who gave me example. Imagine, brother, there's nine, there's 100 people in a room, and there's 99 people understand, and there is one that understand. So Allah will send better Quran to make it uh, more clear. Okay, we got that. So now we have 260, we have 260 million Muslims in Indonesia do not speak a single Arabic word. How they will understand and why Allah don't give them something similar or better in their language. So, um, pre actually, you answered this question previously, brother, because you just saw in the hadith. What I saw the hadith. Well, love, brother, seven of the dialects, right? The, the, the so hadith saying that, uh, okay, yeah, the hadith, the hadith saying that the Arab, the, the, dialect, the, Arab the Arab cannot understand the Quran. Those are Arab, pure Arab, yet they cannot understand the Quran in one Arabic language. We have seven Arabic. Dialect. Doesn't that's matter. Dialect, yes. That's even make it more horrible because so, if a little dialect make you not able to understand hold on if somebody have the same language just because he have a different dialect yet he cannot handle the quran so how about someone who don't speak anything about your language how people who speak the same language just because they have different dialect they cannot they are not capable of doing it so what is the reason for sending seven quran because they are not capable of doing it doing what understanding the quran that's wonderful so allah he said that he agreed with muhammad to send seven quran so the arab they might understand the quran how you a turkish boy will understand the quran did allah send you the quran in seven turkish dialect Allah, um, he made it translate for uh, what Allah made it translate. That is Allah, Allah, he made it translate. What, what it says that you Muslims, you have to pray in Arabic, you're not even allowed to translate. What are you talking about? The only Quran accepted by Muslims oh, is the one so, in Arabic. Any okay. translation is not accepted. No, stop, stop lying. Do you pray to Allah in, in, in Turkish? Do we have the original Hebrew? A second ago, um, I asked you to read this. Bible, we, no, a second ago, a second ago, I asked you, we can translate. Even, 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 the, even, even, the, even, the, even the Torah, even the Torah, even the Torah, even the Torah, even the Torah written in many languages. Do you know? Even the original Torah is not written in one language. But why Allah, he sent a book in Arabic, yet he is not capable of making it clear in one dialect. Why? Because if it's Arabic, how can how can the Chinese guy understand it? It's Arabic guy perfect, perfect guys. Chinese guys if, it's Arabic, if, it's if it's an Arabic, if it's an Arabic, if it's an Arabic, okay. If it's an Arabic, how Chinese can understand it? This is my question to you. So Allah, He will not send. So he will not send an Arab Arabic book. How you just said how Chinese can understand the book, right? Okay, I'm asking you now how how you yes. understand the book. How you understand the book? 
Through translation. Through okay, translation. But, but Allah did not give you translation. Allah gave you Arabic book. And Allah, he says, we never send the messenger except speaking the lang tongue of his people so they might understand. So Allah said, I will never send you a message. Hold on. I will never send you a message. He didn't say, I will send you a translator. Was Muhammad a translator? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It could be a translation. What sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? What sallallahu um, peace and blessing be upon him. What does that mean? Peace and blessing be upon him. Wait, wait, what does that mean? Be blessed and blessed by the white white What does that mean? I'm asking, what does that mean? You must keep saying it's something you say. You say the name of Muhammad, you say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The word Sallallahu in Arabic, what does what Sallallahu mean? Pray. Okay, so how you say, you say Sallallahu Alaihi and then you say a blessing. What is the word of prayer? You should say, pray on him. You just said, I asked you what the word Salah mean. You say pray. Okay, thank you. So, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mean Allah pray on him and salute him. What kind of God he pray? Pray to who? You see, the Christian, they believe in the Trinity. God the Son, he pray to God the Father. You Muslims believe in what? Believe in the Trinity? So, Allah, he pray to who? Allah plays for, prays for, of course. He ah, doesn't he pray for pray what Mimi Hijab, he said. Yeah, Mimi the, Hijab, he said. Mimi Hijab, he agree with you. Mimi Hijab, he was camping his beard in the stage. He says, Allah, this is why uh, I says Allah pray for, done? not to. Okay, Allah pray for Muhammad, but he pray to who? When I pray for you, still the same. Because I pray for you, let's say, I pray that Mirza, he will lose weight. Already he's like 600 kilograms. Okay, so I pray that Mirza will be uh, 599 kilograms. Okay, but I pray to someone. Allah pray to who? I pray for you, but to who? I see what you mean. Huh? But, but it's what is what is what, is, what don't tell me I don't know. I've, you are a Muslim. You are uh, Amar Rabbi Aman. Amar Rabbi Aman. No, I don't say that. You, Allah pray to who? Why you keep saying sallallahu alayhi wasallam repeating what people says to you before blindly without thinking about it and how god he is praying to muhammad or for muhammad i mean isn't it god is god he's praying for who to to for muhammad to do to what to so, um to be successful yeah okay but he prayed to who he prayed for muhammad but to who to jesus if, if I wish something to be happen, I, I can wish it without even wishing it for, uh, to no, someone. But this, uh, but this is God. Uh, when like, you say uh, when you say prayer here is a wish. I wish so if Christmas, Allah he like wish, I wish if, you, I, if you are saying Allah doesn't he wish, I wish to God. No, I just say I wish you make this. It doesn't mean I have to specifically. I do. God when Allah he says, it, when you say to me, Allah he pray for Muhammad, that means Allah is making a request. Allah making a request to someone who is higher than him. For the sake of Muhammad, this is what you are saying. Okay, Allah make a request to who? You do not know. That's stupid, right? Now we go back to zero. So, in order to understand the Quran, we need to have seven daily Quran in the same but language. I have to do something. But, you have to do what? Can I can I copy it real quick? You want to go to the bathroom? So I, I, I believe. What? I have to do something. We call Allah shukran, shukran, sahbi. Sukran, 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 yeah, Sukran. You know two words in Arabic? Okay, let me speak to you back in Indonesian. Lapuk. Muhammad is Lapuk, and you are Lapuk, and Islam is Lapuk, and call me later. Sukran, Sukran, Sahabi. What a crazy cult. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like, what the heck is that, man? Yeah, Muhammad is the center of the universe. The God, he pray on Muhammad. The angels, they pray on Muhammad. The Muslim they pray on everybody pray on Muhammad. He is a, he is this, the the devil of this universe. Everybody have to pray on him. This is the point of Islam. Muhammad he want to be the center so people they forget about the true God. Muslim Muslim atheist. Are you are you driving me crazy? How he's a Muslim and he is an atheist? Muslim atheist. What does that mean, Muslim atheist? I don't, I don't uh, want to speak to atheist anyway. An atheist is the same as the Muslims. 
they are to totally opposite crazy each other the atheist he want to prove to us that he used to be a monkey he became a human the Muslim when they prove to us that a monkeys used to be human do I want to speak to atheists and then he will say to me I believe in the Big Bang Big Bang Big Bang hit your head how you say to me show me Jesus I will believe okay show me the Big Bang it's a theory they believe in theory they are not better than the Muslims Brother, every day and Victor. Both are both are stupid. They, they they claim that they will not believe in something unless this show me God, I will believe. Okay. But he believed in the Big Bang, he never saw it. And it is nothing but a theory. And actually, if I debate an atheist, I will lose right away. He will ask me a question Do you like banana? And right away I will say, <laughs> Yes, I like banana. And then right away we say, see, the origin of a human being is a monkey. How do you explain that? He will win. Why I want to be somebody he believes is a monkey? Hello? I debate with a human. If I want to debate monkeys, I will go to the zoo. And by the way, even the Muslims, brother, they believe that monkeys are Muslims. <laughs> True story. Let us show you the hadith, which is very embarrassing story, by the way. And this is why I will never ever uh, get married if I'm a monkey, because they cheat, obviously. Hmm? During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. <laughs> they were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse, brother. What the heck? A female Muslim monkey wearing a hijab committed a sexual, illegal sexual intercourse. Are you sure, brother? <laughs> uh, look what the, look what this atheist he said. Nadariyat uh, tatur, the uh, the theory of evolution evolution is proven, and the scientists of America they agree with it, and I agree with it too, but not what they claim. There's a lot of scientists in America who they are Christians. Christians to the bones, very high Christian scientist. What are you talking about? The evolution you are talking about does not prove that you used to be a monkey. This is about your adopt adoption. As an example, people who live in the mountains, God He made them adopt the situation they live in. So, in because there is less oxygen, then their chest get bigger. But doesn't mean they used to be chicken and they became human. So there's thousands of Christians who they are scientists and they debunk this stupid argument. As long as you believe in science, then believe in science. Those are scientists too. And there's thousands and thousands of scientists who they are Christians who believe in God. And they debunk the what it's called the Big Bang. The only Big Bang atheists they have is in their head. Now, brother and sister, if you are dating a monkey, please be careful. Actually, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, I don't know how many of you have the book. How many of you have my books? If you if you have uh, Sex and Allah, you will see the story here. It doesn't show really the details. In my books, I show the details. Uh, we're supposedly a female story, female, sorry, female monkey. Uh, uh, her husband was sleeping over her hand hold on I need to find something here to help you uh, to understand you guys are not not ready to understand this amazing stuff like this we cannot just uh, throw it on you it's heavy it's very heavy give me a second please so uh, <coughs> uh, A female monkey her husband was sleeping next to her over her arm mm. 
Look how romantic. And brother, while the male monkey was snoring, at this moment he was thinking about me. Like he's getting ready. So she saw another monkey from behind the tree. And the other monkey, he have in his hand big banana. And you know, female monkeys cannot resist banana. So what happened? This female monkey, when she was tempted by the other male monkey banana, and it's really big, and you know that size does matter. She started eating the banana of the other monkey. And they were playing a music in the background. It says, this is love. Baby, I want you. <laughs> no more. <laughs> And the brother and sister, this female monkey, disgusting monkey, a brother, she went and had sexual intercourse with the other monkey. And then she, after she did the sexual intercourse, a brother, she went and she inserted her hand under the head of the husband. And the brother, the Muslim female monkey brother, he woke up and he started smelling something. <laughs> Sniffing her, uh, <coughs> you know, <laughs> what the heck? So he starts screaming, <laughs> and he bring all that tribe to say that his wife, to prove that his wife, she committed illegal sexual intercourse. Hmm. Uh, shut up, Abbas. He was spank you just yesterday. Did you find me the similar hadith, Abbas? <laughs> Abbas in the bushes. Abbas, did you find me the similar hadith about yesterday, brother? You told me you will come back to me after 10 minutes. And now it's 20 days. What happened, Abbas? Where is the similar hadith? Call me. Call me, brother. We are waiting for the similar hadith about the sun, where the sun goes, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. So beautiful. Oh, boy. This is a religion. This is a religion. What the heck? Never ever date a female monkey. They cheat, brother. Obviously. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim uh, Abdulism would like to call us? Any Abdulism would like to call us? Uh, uh, actually, here we have a smart uh, thinker in the bushes. Look, hold, we have a thinker here. Hold on. I like to show a smart comments. This this person, uh, he made a smart comment. Look at this. Uh, Nicolo Zaka. Said, the, uh, that stoning was an was uh, was uh, an Islamic. Did he bring for witnesses? <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> you are right. He have no brother. At the time of the monkey, they have different Quran, brother. With one witness is okay. <laughs> what a crazy religion! By the way. In Islam, you have to have four witnesses in order to prove adultery. So imagine you open the door of your room, you find you, you find your wife uh, doing boom boom with different guy. They are totally naked, brother, and they are doing like bring in there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again, there again, there again, there again, then 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 then. And you say to your wife, "What are you doing?" She say, "Are you stupid or what? We are doing boom boom." There again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again, because she knew now you are alone, so you cannot do anything. You have to go, call all your friends, and they are busy. You have to find four witnesses, 
and they have to go inside the room and they have not only to see the boom boom happening they have to see uh, <clears throat> the private part of the man going in and out as the pen go in the inkwell as Muhammad said what do you think hmm? how you can prove adultery in Islam all of this because Muhammad he have three witnesses against his wife doing boom boom with Safwan ibn al-Mu'attal just to preserve his honor he changed the number of witnesses there is a three witnesses that she was doing boom boom and he did beat them too there's a hadith about a guy he saw a woman with the man and he said in the witnessing in the in the front of the caliphate he said i saw his legs are uh, sorry i saw her legs around his neck like the ears of a donkey <laughs> the caliphate said this is not enough beat him whip him i mean imagine the women her legs around his neck and he was saying they were shaking so hard the caliphate he said this is not enough there's no proof of adultery <laughs> hey brother, unbelievable! This is a very funny. What the heck? What? 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 Hmm. Do we have any? Abdulism would like to call us Anyone hey, hey, By the way guys, I noticed that you guys are not downloading my videos immediately uh, We encourage you to do so and By the way, you will get more subscribers to your channel So why you don't do that? <clears throat> And if you like to learn more about the stupid cult of Islam, feel free to get my books. They are translated to many languages. The language I did not do yet is the monkey language. I'm thinking to make one about the monkeys for the monkeys. By the way, the Quran says that Allah, he sent his messengers to all nations, including animals. And the animals, by the way, they preserve the Quran, which is amazing. As you see here, the monkeys are practicing stoning. If you go to chapter 6, verse number 38, it says, They're not an animal that lives on earth, nor being fleas on its wing. But they are community like you nothing have we omitted nothing have we omitted from the book so they are community Allah he gave them a book and they preserve the book and they believe in Allah actually even the Quran says that Allah he uh, invited the earth and the heaven uh, to accept Islam But they refuse he gave them a chance to refuse or not but then after he the refuse Allah he obeyed them to come down to Islam which means there's no free will at the end of the day uh, Allah he offer Islam and the trust of Allah to the human being as you see in chapter 33 verse number 72 and because he trusted Allah Allah he told him to be or he called him to be a foolish we did indeed offer the trust to the heaven and the earth and the mountains but they refused to undertake it being afraid therefore but the man undertook it and he was indeed unjust and foolish <laughs> hey Muslims 
Are you saying to me that Allah offer Islam and the trust of Allah to the mountains and the mountains refuse to convert to Islam? What does that mean? Who is a Muslim will tell us what does that mean? Any Abdul? Anyone? So the one who accepts the trust of Allah is a foolish? Hello? Hello? It is me you're looking for. Muhammad became history. And Muslims cannot answer us. Where is the Ustad of Indonesia? Hello? Where are you, Ustad? Huh? Where is the Ustad? I want some Ustad from Indonesia right now. Papa. Papa. Any Ustad from Indonesia? So you make Ustads in front of those naive, poor people who don't speak Arabic, you know nothing about Islam, but here you are a potato. Literally, potato. Hmm? You go there to those poor people, you say to them, I am Ustad. You make a salary, you have four wives, four floor house, Fancy life, fancy vacation, and the poor Indonesian they pay for you because you are a stad. You're right. Do you remember the guy from Indonesia? He made a video for me. What's his name? Harania? I forgot his name. Call Abbas. I think you you like you like to spank Abbas, don't you? Have you ever make a conversation with Imam Tawhidi? This guy is an idiot. He will never even dare to get, get close to me. Shia, Shia, they play, uh, Shia, like you see, uh, Muslims, both of them, they play taqiyya. Taqiyya, which means you are allowed to lie. But Shia, they live the taqiyya. It is their bread and breakfast. And this is why this guy, Tawahidi, will never get close to me. <clears throat> My friend, we offer them to come and debate me. Why, where are they? they? Give me his Skype. I will call him if you agree. Anyone is talking about. What they, talk, they talk about me, but they don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm here. My Skype is open, waiting, and we are begging like homeless for a caller. You see, how, you see how coward they are. As long they are brave, and they are, they can refute me, brother. Why did not call me, brother? <laughs> so they talk about me in their videos, but they cannot call me. Should I play the song "Call Me Baby"? How you can reform Islam? That is stupid to say. In order to reform Islam, you have to bring a new Quran, a new prophet, a new messenger, and then the Muslim have to accept it. That's stupid. This guy is a liar. You know, this guy is a uh, he's a Shia. Shia, they play this game always. The topic in a new book I'm writing. Well, I have actually I'm working more than one book in the same time. One is a translation for the Quran because all of them they are fake translation. One is about the roots of the Quran. One is about Paul and the apostle of Christ in Islam. I mean, I'm working in different project. And actually, I'm thinking maybe in the beginning of the winter, I will take off from YouTube for some time so I can finish at least one of them. You know, um, I mean, just answering emails will take forever if you go and see my emails it's really headache it's really too much and uh, making videos broadcast 
so I need to take a break from this for some time so I can finish those projects. Thank you, my friend. The blessing of the Lord for all of us. Uh, I don't know. The translation is not. It's not me who translated to Indonesian. There is supposedly some people translated translating. He said he want to challenge you and ex-Muslim, but you don't come. All, all of them, they are a bunch of kids. Right away, you will know. Look, why they are lining up to debate someone who don't is not me. I mean, it's very easy to Shabir Ali to accept debating anyone. Uh, all all those names, they are they are just literally fake Muslims. First of all, they don't have knowledge. Secondly. They have a stupid answers, and this is their number one fear. You always notice, you can go and watch any video. You will find that the Lord, he blessed us. You see, sometimes I answer, and I don't know really how I'm answering. I believe that the Lord is helping me. Because sometimes, you, you like think about it. A Muslim, he's talking about something in the speed of light, I get him busted. And this is their fear. As you, as if you are like bringing someone who have a very slow computer, and someone who have a very extreme fast one, and you are asking them to have a challenge, and this is the case for the Muslims. But I believe, additional to that, Islam itself is stupid, and the second you start defending stupidity, you will look like a stupid because it is a stupid cult. And you cannot make something stupid look smart unless you try to lie. Like this is why they say scientific miracles in the Quran. And then when we examine them, we don't find not a single one of them is scientific. And here we go in the front of you. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and show me one scientific miracle of the Quran, brother? Just one. Scientific miracle in the Quran. Are you sure, brother? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> brother. Brother. Miracles of the Quran, brother. The Quran, a book of Islam, contains scientific knowledge, brother. That could not have been known 1400 years ago. Like what? Show me. Silence me so we can die laughing. <laughs> Who is a Muhammadan, Abdulism, Ustad, whatever you call yourself, is willing to call me and show me one scientific miracle? Anyone? Either you have to admit that all of this is a lie and fabrication, or you have to show it to us. Any Abdul? <clears throat> all of this is a scam. Not a single one is true. Hydrogen? The Quran speak about hydrogen? Oh my... What? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> How are you, Bashar Daniel? Bashar, are you a Muslim, my friend? Who is a Muslim from those who speak Arabic in the, the, the Arabic text? Who of you is a Muslim? And if you are a Muslim, why you don't call me? Quran speak about hydrogen. Are you sure? Yes, brother. Where, brother? Okay. Brother, look the, Look how they found the hydrogen. The element hydrogen is represented, predicted, table by simple H. What the heck? H in Arabic is Ha. The sun is uh, permanently made of Ha. <laughs> and how they prove? Guys, it says, 
وَالشَّمْسُ وَضُحَاهَا Duhaha is the time when the sun is in the uh, 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 like in the sky. What does have to do? So letter ha is making a poetry. Talaha came after letter ha. Talaha and the moon came after it. Talaha and then and Naharu Jalaha. So because of letter ha, that means the hydrogen. I mean, do you see the madness? In Arabic, there is letter ha at the end of the description. This is about the earth. This is about hydrogen. Do you see the madness? Just because there's we found that there high in the Quran. Ha is H, brother. However, if we go to this chapter, as long as the Muslim they try to make out of it something stupid, and look at the graphic, brother. The hydrogen is dancing. If we go to this chapter, you will see how stupid this chapter is. Shall we go there? Just for the sake of fun. وَالشَّمْسُ وَضُحَا <laughs> Oh boy. Madness, madness. This is the chapter. First of all, what kind of God he swear by the sun? Any Muslim can explain. And here you notice that Muhammad is a false prophet very easy because he's trying to make a point by making all the words end with ha. No matter how silly the meaning is. And we will prove it to you in a second. By the sun and it's a glorious a splendor. This is the Muslim translation. By the moon, she follow him. She, she follow him who? A shams is his since when a shams is a male let it go let it go but let me tell you why they made it he and she anyone knows why anyone knows why because the Arab they believe that the Sun God married from the moon God and they have three daughters a lot and al Uzza and Manat The moon here, not follow by the way, it came after, came after, which means appear after, not like following the sun, came after, and then by the day as it shows up, you know, this translation is very stupid. Let us change different translation. Hold on, Yusuf Ali, this is Yusuf Ali, what a donkey. Let us choose different donkey, maybe it's better. And by the day it shows its brightness and by the night as it is conceals it the Sun the night cover the Sun but this is stupid this uh, the night does not cover the Sun who is a Muslim agree that the night cover the Sun remember we are talking about science now because the Muslim they claim that they found that are at the end and that mean hydrogen <laughs> do the night cover the Sun who is a Muslim agree with that? That the night covered the sun. This is what the Quran say, not me. Any Muslim agree with this? So the Muslim they try to make a miracle from the they say the Quran speak about hydrogen by finding letter ha. Those who they are speaking in Arabic, if you don't stop, Ya Arab, Ya Mantasabuna Ba'dakum al Ba'd, Tatasarafuna Kal Qurud. If you don't stop doing that, I will ban you all of you. If you see guys, the Arab, they are cursing each other. Arab, this is the best they do. Good morning, may Allah curse you. <laughs> Unbelievable, my people are very beautiful. And then, was وَمَا بَنَاهَا وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا طَحَاهَا Hold on, hold on. And Allah, He made the earth flat. ما طحاها طحاها mean made it flat. It's in front of you. 
This is full of mistakes. The night does not cover the, the sun. And the earth isn't flat. But look here. And when okay, the soul of a human being, and he made it a fashion like in a in a in a, in a body. But look, what the heck? And look at the first translation. It says, and then he showed him what is wrong for him and what is right for him. That's not true. Allah inspire Adam to do sin. This is what the, even the hadith com confirm. Allah made Adam commit sin. And then Muhammad, he started jumping. What this have to do with the one before it and the one before it? What the sun and the moon and the day and the night and then go back to the sky and then go back to the earth and then go back to the human? What does have to do with each other? Nothing. Nothing. Any Muslim can tell me what is the connection between this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And then he jumped to talk, uh, to talk about a nation nobody heard of them. They called him Thamud. What does have to do with this? Suddenly, Thamud. Okay, who is Thamud? You need to ask first words where, where they live, what the language they speak. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? And by the way, here the story. Do you know about the story about this uh, Thamud? Brother and sister. The people they ask a prophet, one of the Muslim prophet, prove to us that Allah is God. Make this rock deliver a camel, and this camel have to be written it with ten month camel. So Allah, He made the rock deliver a camel, <laughs> and then the brother they killed the camel. And Allah destroyed them because they killed the camel of Allah. And this is a true story. Any Muslim here want to say I'm not telling the truth? It's in front of you. And just to show you how stupid the story here. But the messenger of Allah, Salih, said to them, Be cautious, fear the evil. That is the she-camel of Allah. The she-camel of Allah. Allah has the she-camel. Don't harm it. But they, and by the way, the she-camel can give milk enough to the whole town. So why people will kill it? I mean, the story itself is stupid. Imagine we have a prophet. He brought us a she-camel. She keep giving milk. Not a stop. Will be enough to feed the whole city. So why they will kill it? Stupid story. Tiku, tiku, tiku. And the camel she gave birth to a camel. She is she is she ten month old. That's a good one. Any Abdul? Allah have a camel. Allah have a dog. Even a dog. Allah has a dog. What we can say? Don't forget if you are new here to subscribe to our channel and if you are already subscribed don't forget to unsubscribe because that will give you blessing from Allah for Allah double your reward twice brother Allah he they say that if you do bad deed and then you do good deed the bad deed will be erased by the good deed and Allah will multiply your deed so here we go if you subscribe to my channel this is a bad deed and subscribe Allah will give you 100 deed imagine if we can do that with money unbelievable 
crazy crazy actually the religion of Islam is the only religion that says Allah he need a mortgage and if you give Allah a mortgage Allah will forgive you brother what are you sure yes brother and who is the one will take the mortgage brother brother Muhammad brother Allah he was seeking a loan from Bank of America who give Allah good morning you know Mimi Hijab he have a debate with David Wood before he finished not even an hour after he finished the debate he made a video him and his nurse Ali Dawa saying they are reading this verse exactly they are begging for money you know they said to themselves we fooled the Muslim we made them believe that we have a great debate which is horrible and now it's time to ask for money and they recite exactly the same verse Allah, you need a mortgage. You want to give Allah a mortgage? Mm -hmm. Allah, you need a mortgage, and we give it to Mimi Hijab. <laughs> Allah, need a Mimi Hijab is replacing the scam of Muhammad. And if you give Allah a mortgage, Allah forgive your sin. Do you see it? It's a scam. Why Allah will forgive my sin if I give Muhammad money? Allah will forgive you. He will double it for you, brother. And not only he will double it for you, brother, he will forgive you, brother. If you donate to Christian Prince, God will not forgive you. Why? What does this have to do with forgiveness? You can bribe God. Do you think you can bribe God? So if you give me, if you give a Christian prince five dollars, then God forgive your sin. That is the most silly, stupid thing ever I heard. People give because they believe in good. They are doing what is right, what is good. When you when you when you feed a, a somebody, when you help somebody, because you believe that you as a good person should do the good deeds because you are good. But not because God will forgive you. Nobody can bribe God. What if I'm a drug dealer and then I give Muhammad a loan? It's a scam. Anyone says to you, if you give me money, God will forgive you. He is, he is fooling you. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it? And by the way, this is exist. Even there's some uh, false Christian uh, uh, churches, uh, some scam. Uh, they call themselves Christians. They say to you, donate right now. Call us one eight hundred number so they receive the blessing of God. <clears throat> you receive the blessing of God because you give those people money. What does that mean? What about going and you know finding somebody who need help, a neighbor of you who is poor? old nobody take care of them somebody is disabled he cannot walk buy him a, a, a chair you know but even if you do that by the way doesn't mean that Allah forgive you but that's mean you are you know you are a person trying to be close to God what what Jesus said that from their fruits you shall know them the God of Islam he recognize you by the money And not only that, he promised you forgiveness if you give Muhammad money. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> hey, Kevin, are you a Muslim, my friend? Mr. Kevin? Mr. Kevin, are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, give me your Skype, I will add you. Any Muslim would like me to call him, give me your, you post your Skype, we will call you immediately.
All right. <clears throat> Anyone? <clears throat> Only if you are a Muslim, please. If you are not, don't waste my time. And not only Muhammad, he asked for money. Muhammad, he made Muslim women give themselves to him. Not only he made them, he controlled them taking their money. Even he took their women. To the point he made verses in the Quran saying any Muslim woman she gave her private part to him Not to marry her, but to do boom boom with her even he used the F word in the verse <clears throat> How this is can be all cult leaders they share the same thing they want your money and your women He can argue that Muhammad died as a virgin. We don't have time for kids talking, my friend. All right, I think we have enough for today. Uh, we will see if we can do broadcast tomorrow. Do we have a good time, guys? Do we have a good time? Don't forget, if you are from Indonesia, to download the video. And if you can add subtitle, at least in the beginning, when we speak about the Ustad, Ustad, that would be good. All right? So please download the video as soon as we finish broadcasting. It takes maybe 20, 20 minutes before you can download it because YouTube loaded. Always when the video exceeds two hours, uh, YouTube only show in the beginning two hours, but then after that, YouTube process the rest of the file and you will have the full season of the video and you can download usually it take maybe 20 minutes to have the video ready if it is more than two hours so try after 20 minutes or 30 minutes from now to download the video because as you know i don't keep my videos in my channel i want to say thank you all of you for being here and for uh, listening and for supporting us and uh, we will come always the muslims to come and to debate us if they dare if they can if they wish Starting from the one who called himself scholars or Ustad in Indonesia For they are fake and liars and they do not know anything about Islam and here we prove it every day If you know somebody he claimed to be a scholar or claimed to be a sheikh Say to him or what it's going to take you a free call on a Skype to Christian Prince I do not need to know who is he. I don't care what his name. I don't care how old is he or what we care is his answers so break the the best you have the biggest you have big billy big huge salary from the muslims because support is so good bring him and you will see that those who call themselves scholars they are fooling you and they know nothing neither about allah or about muhammad or about your own cult islamism Abdulism. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again.